Hey there Guitar Geeks, Guitar Guts back with a video about Stratitis Warble and how to fix it by pushing the pole pieces down on single coil pickups. Um, if you've ever played a vintage single coil on a Stratocaster, you may have noticed that sometimes there's a warble to the sound, almost like your string is out of tune when it's not. And that's caused by the vintage stagger on some of the old type single coil pickups. So I'm talking about any of the classic single coils from Fender like Custom Shop 69s, uh, Fat 50s, or these Texas Specials. If you notice, on these pickups, and I'm talking about this single coil pickup here, um, the B string pole piece is down so low that it's below the plastic bobbin on the pickup itself. Whereas the G string pole piece is relatively high. It's way up above the plastic bobbin. Um, the D string is high as well, the A string a little bit lower, uh, and the E string pole piece is a little bit lower still. These first two though, the high E and the B, are really low compared to the others. Now there was a reason for that in the past. Uh, originally Fender guitars had a 7.5 inch radius, which is a fairly drastic radius. That's, that's a fairly large hump on the string's radius and the fretboard's radius. Um, Fender has since changed to a flatter radius of 9.5, 9.5 inch radius, which is a little bit of a flatter string curve. But they never changed the pole pieces on their pickups. Also, on older sets of strings, the G string was a wound string. In other words, it had a wind like the E, the A, and the D string, where it, you know you know these strings because they feel a little bit rough compared to the unwound strings. But the G-string on old sets of strings was a wound string. And because of that, it was a little bit harder to move. And so you needed that pole piece up closer to it because it, you weren't going to move it as much as you needed to to get the volume out of it. So that pole piece had to be really high. The first unwound string was fairly loud compared to that one because it was easier to move. And so that pole piece needed to be low. But because we now don't play with that wound G-string, sometimes that pole piece can be too high, and sometimes you can get a little bit of fall off where the B and the E string sound a little bit uh, too weak compared to the others. If you adjust your pickup higher to get that to go away uh, and to get better string balance, that's where you run into strat warble. The magnetic pole pieces are cl too close to your strings, causing them to have uh, an out-of-tune sort of, sort of warbling effect to them. And it's annoying. You can't get the best of both worlds with a vintage stagger pickup. Now, one solution to that is to stagger your pickups in a more modern fashion, like this uh, pickup out of one of my Highway 1 strats. You'll notice that the stagger on this one is absolutely flat. There's no curve to it at all. And while that is one solution, maybe that's not the best stagger either because your strings are not exactly flat. I found another way to keep the vintage sound of these old traditional single coils while getting rid of Strat Warble. Uh, and I've done it to this Strat. These are, uh, I think, Custom Shop uh, Fat 50s that I have pushed the pole pieces down on. You'll notice that the G string pole piece is way down lower than the ones on the other guitar. Um, the D string is still up fairly high. The A and the E are fairly low. Those three I left pretty much the same. I think I pushed down on the D string pole piece a little bit. But that G is definitely lower. Uh, the B string pole piece is a little bit higher. And I think I left the E string uh, about where it was before. I've done the same thing to the neck pickup. I've changed the radius on those pole pieces. I get the same tone out of it. I don't feel like it sounds any different at all. The strings balance better, and I don't have to worry about strat warble, even though I can get my string, my um, pole pieces close enough to the strings to really have a good, strong tone out of the pickup. Now, what I'm doing and what I'm about to show you is probably going to cause some people on the Internet here to lose their minds. Um, but I will tell you that I've done this to over... Um, over a dozen sets of pickups from Seymour Duncan and Fender, and I've never had a problem with it. Now, uh, a, a little warning here. <laughs> I may be the luckiest person in the world, and every time I've done this on dozens of pickups, uh, I may have simply lucked out 
and it may be that every other time you try this from now on, it's going to absolutely destroy your pickup. So it could theoretically absolutely ruin your pickup. It could break the wine on the inside and destroy the pickup forever. But I've done it so many times that I feel very confident doing it. Uh, I feel very safe doing it. But then again, it's my money and my pickups. So if I ruin it, I know I'm going to have to buy another one. You need to think long and hard when it's your pickups as to whether you want to risk this or not. I'm not guaranteeing that it will work. And I definitely would not use it on any of the stacked single coil pickups, the hum canceling, um, humbucking pickups that have a lot of weird stuff going on on the inside. Or that you can't see the pole pieces on the bottom of. I would never try it with a pickup like that. But these are all traditional uh, vintage style single coil pickups where the pole pieces are magnets. Uh, and they run through a plastic bobbin. You can see them on the bottom. So here's what I'm doing, and it's fairly simple. Um, the pole pieces um, are movable, and what I do is I use a soldering iron to heat them up a little bit. There's wax in the middle of the pickup, and the uh, plastic sometimes grabs onto the pickups. And if you heat it up just a little bit, not much, you don't want to get that pole piece very hot, but you want to get it hot enough to soften, not necessarily melt, the uh, wax out of the middle of your pickup and have it running out the bottom but enough to um, soften the wax just a little bit. I've tried to press down on the pole pieces just with uh, brute strength without uh, heating the pole pieces and I find them almost impossible to move. But after heating for maybe 30 seconds, you don't want to heat too long but just enough to soften that wax a little bit from the top. Then I take a plastic handled screwdriver. I hold up on the bottom of the pickup uh, keep your fingers off the pole piece you're trying to move. Usually for me, it's that G pole piece there. Keep your fingers off that and then press down with a plastic handled screwdriver. Usually your fingers are a little bit too soft and have too much give to get it to budge. Press down with that screwdriver until you feel the uh, pole piece move down. Sometimes, well, pretty often, <laughs> you'll push the pole piece down a little too far. Uh, once it gets moving, it moves kind of quick. And you'll see it poke out the bottom of the base plate. Uh, and you can really easily, at that point, I usually just use a fingernail. I will take and push back up from the bottom of the base plate and get the pickup pole piece up to where I want it. Uh, I always have a plan before I start. I know about what kind of radius I want on the top. Uh, and I go for that uh, fairly quickly. Uh, you can always adjust it again later. I've had to take them back out later because I've got one that's a little too loud or one that's a little too quiet and I simply take it out and sometimes that pole piece will just move on its own after you do it the first time. But I adjust them to where I want them. I've never noticed any of them falling down in their slots um, by themselves. Um, <clears throat> and you can always return it to normal. Um, usually the pole pieces are flat on the bottom of a pickup. Uh, and if you want it back to normal, you can just tee them all up a little bit and push them back up where they were. I've done that on a set of pickups that I sold to a friend. He wanted it back to original, and so, so I simply pushed up on the bottom, and it still works fine to this day. So there you've got it. Uh, heat up the ones you want to move, push down on them with a plastic handle screwdriver, adjust from the bottom if you need to, and push them all back up flat if you don't like it. Uh, it could uh, greatly improve your tone because it'll get rid of stratitis while allowing to get your pickups as far up toward the strings as you want to, uh, and it may be the perfect cure for your problem. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments. Um, feel free to lose your mind and go off on me if you want to. <laughs> uh, this is my little experiment. It seemed to work pretty well for me. Uh, but let me know what you think. Uh, appreciate you watching. See you later.